Whoa, whoa, whoa. What a day for a game. I did not realize that it was raining today. Fuck. Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we are doing another match day vlog and we've got a pretty big game to be fair. Today we're playing away against Worcester. Last time we played these, we actually lost. So it's one of the only few games in the season that we've lost so far. I didn't play last game, so I'm pretty excited to see what we can do in this game. For some reason, there's about 20 guitars in my house. It's pretty random. And also, what do you think of these Crocs boys? Bangor or not? Let me know in the comments. Look at this cupboard, fully stopped. And we've also got a shit ton of my protein stuff up there as well. Vitamin D gummies, electrolyte plus, and omega-3 fish oils. Look how wham this pot is. But anyway, I'm fucking starving. Let's get some breakfast. Right, so for breakfast, um, bagels, scrambled egg, and today I've switched it up a little and I've got some bacon medallions with that as well. Now, I always have bacon medallions instead of normal bacon just because it's got less fat and I grill it just for, you know, not using loads of oil. Also got a big glass of water. I've already drank one of these. I can't stress enough about how important it is to be hydrated like on the game day. In last week's game, I come up with a pretty bad cramp and actually had to go off the pitch. Foot was actually just stuck in that position. I couldn't stretch it back. So this week I've been really focusing on recovery. Didn't train legs. Been in the ice bath yesterday, which was absolutely terrible. Anyway, let's get this breakfast down and I'm gonna start doing some work for the morning. Hi, hello, what's up? Hello. Okay, so breakfast all done. Got my coffee. Absolutely love a good coffee in the morning. And I'm just going to start a bit of work. Um, now, January has been absolutely crazy. It's been really busy with coaching. Obviously, new year, new me. And I'm buzzing to see so many new faces on the coaching team. If you are interested in my one-to-one -one coaching, it will be in the description. So I've got to set up a few new clients today who are starting next week. Um, so I'm writing up their training and nutrition plans. Then I've also got to film and edit a TikTok. And not really much to do this morning. So pretty much just chilling out, getting a bit of work done. Pretty chill morning so this is my current workspace it's like really messy and there's hardly anything there at the same time but i definitely want to get like a new monitor as well just so i've got like a perfect you know monitor setup space here to actually get my work done but i've now booked to go to marbella again in may so i'm going to be going from may to august so i'm absolutely buzzing for that so a lot of you guys have always asked like what league i mean what league do we play what level do i play at so i'll play for warsaw which is regional to west midland so let's have a look at the league table and see what it's looking like so we're currently set Second with 51 points. We're playing today away against Worcester, who are eighth with 32 points. Who knows, you know, I think anyone in this league can really beat each other. It's gonna be an interesting game. Right, so packing up the bag for the game today, and I've gotta wear my old boots because we're playing away and we're playing on grass. And my new boots, which are absolutely beautiful. I don't wanna wear them on grass and I don't wanna mess them up, and they're also not studs. So these are my old boots, look at them. Oh, I should probably give them a clean, but fuck it. Yeah. Clothes for after the game. Uh, what else do I need? Got another stock up on the energy gels, which I always take before the game. Full of electrolytes. Hopefully, they're going to help with the cramp. I mean, they didn't help much last week, but we'll see. Three, two, one, go. Oh, that was shit. One minute 28. I've been getting it consistently under a minute. Anyway, absolute weirdo. Let's uh, get ready to go and leave for the game. Pre-workout. Yeah, yeah, of course, mate. Right, so just got to the clubhouse. Got myself some little packs of sweets. Rob, who's our centre, he's driving today, so he's going to be coming to pick me up, and we've got about an hour's drive. And Rob is an absolute weirdo, I promise you. I'm going to predict it. The first thing that he says to me is, don't go anywhere. He's saying, don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. Why are you fucking coming first? Hello. Let's go. Right, so it's currently 12.40. Meet time's 1 p.m. Drives about an hour, fun time. Think we're gonna make it? No way. <laughs> Come on, the boys. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> right, so let's get into the game. Um, kicking off now, and Worcester kick off. And it was pretty windy today, um, and, but the pitch was a lot pretty good. So at the start of the game, it was pretty even. As you can see, Ben coming here through. Look at that for a time. <laughs> 
<laughs> Sorry, Ben, I had to put that in. Um, but the start of the game was pretty even. Not much action from both teams. Here's my first involvement in the game with the tackle here. Uh, ben managing to get the turnover, but the ref didn't like that, so he gave a penalty. So Worcester then secured another penalty here early on in the game, which the kicker successfully slotted over the post to make it 3-0 to Worcester in the first couple of minutes, really. So not a good start for us. Uh. So we're dominating in the scrum here pretty early on, managed to get a penalty. So not much really going on in the first 10 minutes of the game. Both teams making a few mistakes, um, and it's still 3-0 to Worcester here. However, we are dominating possession of the ball, really, but we can't put it together to get a try. So here was some really good attacking play with the backs and forwards. Unfortunate here from Ben, uh, unable to manage to get that way to the wing. Look at me, just rook inspecting there. Some good structure here from us. Okay, nice here, nice from Adam. Gave it to me, but I've got no space there at all. Uh, some good carries here from the forwards, but whoo, Bosch, and oh, he's lost the ball. Okay, so we're about 15 minutes in now and some good carries to get us into the 22. Great offload by Will into George there, just short. Then, as we do have the overlap here, quick ball, Will gives it wide to me, and I managed to finish in the corner with the diving finish. But that was the first try of the game, so now it is 5-3 to Warsaw. But from the corner, Ben secures the kick. So now it's 7-3 to Warsaw. So straight from their kickoff, Dan, doesn't manage to get the kick off, comes to me. I then just drop the ball because I'm thinking too much of what I'm going to be doing. From the scrum, some solid carries, and then they do play quite expansive rugby and manage to get it wide as they have got a massive overlap here. So quick ball, spread nice and wide, and their winger then finishes in the corner. 8-7 to Worcester. So here I thought we were on, uh, that definitely was on, but Will didn't manage to get that offload. They then put a kick through. I'm chasing back to recover. Decent pick up there. I had nowhere to go, so I just <laughs> pushed him out of the way and recover the ball. Worcester then did manage to get another penalty right under the posts, which they slotted over to make it 11-7 to Worcester. So not a great start for us. First 20 minutes, we are all pretty switched off, so not looking too good for us at the minute. So here's another involvement from me. Uh, ben manages to really step outside the 13, gave it to me. I definitely should have went wide here, but managed to stepped in for some reason. Stepped a few of their players there and then ended up just running into traffic. 27 minutes in now, great line out from the forwards. Nice little dummy switch into Adam, into me. I'll bump off their 15. Managed to get free from the winger and get my second try of the game. So that now makes it 12-11 to uh, Warsaw. Pretty similar end to the half, really, with some great forward carries. Five metres out now, near the end of the half, and Corey managed to roll away and get the try just under the posts to finish the first half at 19-11 to Warsaw. So five minutes into the second half, unfortunately, I could feel my hamstrings and my calves just cramping up so badly again. I just knew they were gonna go. So I thought to come off so I could warm them up, try and get a massage and get back on the pitch. But luckily I didn't have to come back on the pitch because I'm not gonna talk too much through this because there was a lot of tries in the second half. So let's have a look at the tries. We did the kickoff, managed to get the turnover and Simon Weaver, our prop, bolting it down the wing to finish it in the corner. What a fucking try from Weaver there. 30 seconds into the first half and that is our first try. Will Hennessy with the conversion and unfortunate there not to get the kick. So into the second half, we're finding our feet now. Um, great run here from Rob, breaking the line, managing to get through, but securing the ball quickly. Um, he manages to come out to Will who manages then to get a pop off to George Perkins who runs then, breaks the line and gets a try under the post. Worcester now on the attack and Ben reading this, getting the interception and managing to make the whole way. Ben, I thought you didn't have the legs there, but he's got it for the try just under the posts. And he gets the conversion as well. Dan Carpenter, our nine, has then gone to wing replacement and look at this for a step. Oh, he stepped their full back in for his first try of the game. So 15 minutes into the second half now, great line out here from Warsaw. Then we're spreading it wide, Ben with a great pass into Adam, who manages to get the offload to Brandon. Back, jacking it, two on one, 
and Dan is in for a second try of the game. So the last 20 minutes of the game really starting to open up. Warsaw with a great scrum here. A uh, quick penalty, tap, and manages to get that over for his second try of the game. Worcester then applying some pressure and getting into our 22, but some great defense from Warsaw here to keep them from scoring another try. And I've just got to give an honorable mention, Rob, look at this for some gas. 104 kilos down the wing. He's gassing, but he's, he's lost it. He ain't got the legs and bosh. But a good 60 meter run there from Rob. One of the final scores of the game here, Dean making a good break, giving it to Dan for his hat trick of the game. A slow start today, tough first 20 minutes, but sometimes it takes a bit of time to get going, if you know what I mean. I'm glad of it. So the game ended there at 56-11 to Warsaw. So a really good win for us on the road, keeping us at that second position. So from me and another match day vlog, I'll see you in the next video.